Hello, my name is Aaron Whitehouse and I'm going to give you a quick technical onboarding to Ubuntu Pro on Azure so that you can get up and running using this image as quickly as possible. So first of all, what is Ubuntu Pro? Ubuntu Pro is a premium image that we have created on Azure that gives you the best Ubuntu experience that you can have built into the mechanisms of the Azure Marketplace and other Azure features. So you can launch this through the portal, CLI, PowerShell, other tools from Azure, and I'll get onto that in a moment, and you can get billed for it in a very cloud native way on your normal Azure bill. It counts towards your mandatory account commitments and things like that in your Azure estate. We've designed it deliberately to be suitable for everyone from the smallest Ubuntu users in production to those who are using Ubuntu at massive scale. And it's priced accordingly, so it's not something that's going to add a huge amount to your Ubuntu infrastructure costs. One of the key advantages that you receive as part of Ubuntu Pro is access to a much greater range of security patches, and I'm going to cover that in a moment. The other important point is to note that it's a drop-in replacement for Ubuntu free LTS that you will have used in many cases in the cloud or otherwise in the past. So you can move to using the Ubuntu Pro image, build it into your existing scripts, your golden images, your policy, etc., and be able to use Ubuntu Pro instead to help you meet those security and compliance objectives. One of the things to flag from the outset is that the Ubuntu Pro that you launch through the public Azure marketplace does not include support from Canonical. So if you want SLA support from Canonical for your Ubuntu production workloads, that's something we'd absolutely love to help you with. And we can add it to your um, Ubuntu Azure estate very easily through a private offer. And again, you can use those private offers in the same way that you would use either the free or Ubuntu Pro images through the CLI or the portal or, or similar. So it's something that's very easy to use across your Azure estate and have that compliance, security and support objective satisfied at an enterprise wide level. So how do you launch Ubuntu Pro? It may be that you've already launched your first Ubuntu Pro image, and that's why you're watching this onboarding. But if you haven't, you can launch your first Ubuntu Pro image through the portal. If you go and look at the other images and search for Ubuntu Pro, you should see the images come up like those there on the left hand side of the screen. Or you can search through the CLI. And I've given the offer and publisher and SKU details there for some of our existing images. So you can go and look for yourself. Again, important to note that you can do this in all of the normal DevOps tooling like Azure Image Builder or Terraform, etc. So what does Ubuntu Pro include and how does it differ from the Ubuntu Server LTS? So I've got these here in two columns on this slide. And one of the key things that you will know already, I'm sure, is that Ubuntu has free security maintenance for five years as part of what you can just obtain when you use our free Ubuntu image. And this is a great offer. This is something that we aim to always be as good as the other free offerings in the marketplace. And security is really important as a core value for Ubuntu. With Ubuntu Pro, we've taken that a step further. And not only do you receive that great security offering that you get as part of the normal Ubuntu Server LTS, but you receive both more package security maintenance and also a longer period of security maintenance. So for the first of those points, most operating systems, including Linux distributions, give you security support for those sort of core operating system pieces. And that's the same with Ubuntu. Those are the ones that I've already mentioned. In addition to that, one of the great things about Ubuntu is that you can get access to this amazing universe of nearly every open source package you might want to use or library or dependency, all of those sorts of things. And that much wider universe of open source applications also receives security coverage through Ubuntu Pro, but does not receive security coverage through the Ubuntu Server LTS. So that's that 28,000 applications there, and I'm sure you recognize some of those names there in that, in that row, like 
some of the Python dependencies, some of the things like the Node.js ecosystem, Kafka, Mongo, um, Rabbit, those sorts of things. Um, so if you're using those packages, then Ubuntu Pro is giving you uh, some very helpful security benefits straight off the bat. In addition, the time that you receive security maintenance for for an Ubuntu Pro machine is, is much greater than it is for the Ubuntu Server LTS. So with Ubuntu Server LTS, you receive five years of security maintenance, but for Ubuntu Pro, you receive security maintenance for 10 years. Another feature is kernel live patch, and I'm going to give more details on that shortly, um, along with landscape, FIPS, some of the CIS hardening. So turning to how you interact with these UA services, one of the easiest ways to do that and to get an understanding of what's available as part of an Ubuntu Pro instance is to use the UA client. And I'll let you play with this yourself. But if you just type UA status, you can see in the, in the output there the services that you're entitled to and whether those are enabled or disabled and what each of those things does. And I'll put up on the screen here some useful CLI tips or commands that you can use to get information about your entitlements and how to use those. So now I'd like to talk about how to use some of the security and compliance features like Live Patch, FIPS, and the CIS, etc. So Live Patch is a really neat tool that patches your live kernel without needing you to reboot. So as you, I'm sure, know, the kernel in a Linux operating system, particularly the Ubuntu kernel, gets updated on a regular basis. So there are new kernels coming out sometimes as often as every three weeks. And those new kernels will need to be updated. And often you will build that into your maintenance schedule. So you will update your systems. Then you need to reboot them in order to have the security patches applied so that you're no longer vulnerable to any CVEs that are in that kernel. Now, Live Patch lets you patch in place your kernel without rebooting for many of those high and critical security vulnerabilities. That lets you reboot on your terms. You're you're probably still going to have to reboot in order to get the, the remainder of those kernel patches applied or for other reasons. But it lets you be a much more controlled about when you are going to schedule those reboots so that you can do it at a time that is convenient for you rather than having to drop everything because you've seen some horrendous CVE in the in the technology media. And you, you've got somebody you know on your on your case about making sure all of those servers are up to date. So I'll do a quick demo of how Live Patch works and some of the benefits of it. Live Patch is included in Ubuntu Pro by default. So if I start this 2004 Pro instance, you see it's entitled and enabled. But if we do a status, you can see that there aren't actually any Live Patches available because it's a brand new machine. And so it's up to date. So what I'm going to do is wind back to an earlier version of the kernel. You see it's still enabled and entitled, but now it says all applicable Live Patch modules have been inserted. And if we run a Live Patch status with YAML format, you can see all the CVEs that have been patch since this kernel was last updated. And these are all done inserted on the fly without needing a reboot. So now I'll turn to FIPS. FIPS is a US government standard that defines security requirements um, that apply in many cases to people who are working in the government space or contracting to the US government. And it sets out the required cryptographic um, algorithms and, and some of the module details that need to be configured in a certain way on an operating system. And we actually create Ubuntu Pro FIPS specific images in the marketplace, which are essentially normal Ubuntu Pro, but with the FIPS turned on already for you. And the reason we do this is so that you can build on those FIPS images, knowing that you are you are going to have those compliant modules turned on, enabled by default when you start building that image on top. Um, so alternatively, you can take an Ubuntu Pro normal image out of the marketplace and you can enable FIPS as is set out here on this slide. The next point I want to cover is the CIS or Center for Internet Security Compliance. 
CIS is a standard that is that or an organization that has published um, hardening benchmarks for Ubuntu since 1204. And those hardening guidelines set out a, a large number, hundreds of pages of um, suggested configuration changes to Ubuntu machines in order to comply with best practice security guidelines. Now, Ubuntu Pro includes CIS hardening and CIS audit tools so that you can use these to audit your, your um, Ubuntu Pro machines or to automatically harden your Ubuntu Pro machines to improve your CIS compliance. And we have some guidance here, some documentation on using those CIS tools and a video demo if you need more information on this. In addition, we've put up a tutorial and you can see the link here on how you can build CIS hardening into a golden image on Azure using Azure Image Builder. And this is a tutorial that you might find generally useful if you are building a golden image or a shared image gallery that has Ubuntu in, inside it so that you can instead build on top of Ubuntu Pro and that you can build in whatever agents that you might want. You say you need to, to have some standard applications on all of the Ubuntu or all of the machines within your environment. This could be one way that you could solve that problem or at least give you some ideas of how you might want to solve that. This tutorial uses Azure Image Builder, but Ubuntu Pro can be used with all of the other DevOps tools that you would expect, like Packer and Terraform. So how do you manage your Ubuntu Pro instances? For many people, you will want to use the Azure Update Manager. Um, this is an, a built-in Azure tool for systems management around your updates. And we work with the Azure team to, to make sure that Update Manager works as well as possible with Ubuntu Pro VMs. Um, alternatively, we also have a systems management tool called Landscape. And you are entitled to use this as part of your Ubuntu Pro subscription. Landscape is designed to use or to manage your Ubuntu instances across clouds, your on-premise data centers. Everywhere that you are running Ubuntu, you can plug those Ubuntu instances into Landscape so that you can manage them more effectively. And Landscape's a really helpful tool for understanding things like your patch status and managing those Ubuntu instances at scale. So it's probably something that will be particularly interesting to you if you have a mixed estate across different clouds or on-prem and cloud um, hybrid environments, um, then those sorts of things may mean that Landscape is a better fit than something that's Azure specific. And if you're interested in landscape or more information about landscape, please let us know and we can we can arrange a demo for you on landscape specifically. While I've got you, I would like to cover a few other relevant services that might, might be of interest to you on Azure. So the first point I've already covered, which is that if you require support for your Ubuntu environments on Azure, then please contact us. We can arrange that for you very easily so that you can tick that support box and know that you have the Ubuntu experts in your corner if anything goes wrong with your production environment. And this may be something that is a requirement as part of your compliance obligations or something that you just want to have peace of mind so that when you have an Ubuntu challenge, you know that you've got the right people on hand to help you solve it. And if you go for support through a private offer with Ubuntu Pro, one of the neat things we can do for existing Microsoft Azure Premier support customers or other Azure customers is in many cases integrate our support offering with your existing Microsoft relationships so that you don't need to retrain your users on how to raise support cases in a different way that is Ubuntu specific. If you've got any questions about that or you'd like to go into it in more detail, please let us know. The next point I wanted to cover is that it may seem obvious that we do support 
in security maintenance for the Ubuntu operating system. But something that may not jump to mind is that we're also very active in the open source application space. And so in addition to that security patching for that application space that I've already talked about, those 28,000 applications, we support an, a large number of those key open source applications that you will likely be using in, in many advanced enterprises today. And some of those are here on this slide. And then we also have an additional set of open source applications that we can run as fully managed services for you inside your Azure estate. So we can run these in your Azure AKS tenant um, or on virtual machines if you prefer and give you the ability to interact with those applications without having to, for example, bring on a whole lot of experts who know how to deploy and operate Kafka. But you can use that, for example, as your standard messaging bus in the applications that you're building in your application portfolio. Again, this is an ever expanding portfolio. And so if there are applications that you would like to have our expert assistance on at a support or as a managed service, then please let us know and we can tell you whether that's coming soon on roadmap or, or what would be involved in supporting or managing that for you. And finally, just to flag that we have co-developed an offering with Microsoft of SQL on Ubuntu Pro. And this is a really neat offering because there is an image available in the Azure Marketplace. There's actually going to be a, a couple of images there, one for 2004 and one for 1804 of SQL on top of Ubuntu Pro with end-to-end -end support. So Microsoft looking after all of the Microsoft bits and the Azure bits and us here at Canonical looking after all of the Ubuntu pieces to make sure that your SQL on Ubuntu Pro is rock solid for your production workloads. And that's a ready to go image that has all of those optimizations and all of the, the, the engineering excellence that you would expect from us working together with Microsoft on this, on this, this optimized image. If you'd like more information on that, there's a, a blog post here and there is the first of a two part webinar series that you can click on and watch um, to, to get into the nitty gritty details. So that's everything, and, and given the forum, I can't ask for you to give me any questions, but if you do have any questions, please get in touch with us, and the customer success team would be more than happy to help you, and we really appreciate that you've decided to use Ubuntu Pro, and I hope that you choose to use it across your Azure estates and that you enjoy doing so. Thank you very much for your time.